Is it okay if I have Data and Geordi rush off the holodeck and go to the bridge with a drawing of the Enterprise on a piece of paper handed them by Professor Moriarty? That's what I asked Gene Roddenberry one day over lunch at Paramount, and he said, sure, that sounded good. So I asked him to tell me how it would work, how the holodeck and the transporter and the replicator worked, and he just smiled and said, I don't know, Brian, how do you want them to work? And with that, Gene let me create the Star Trek science Bible that explained it all, based on my version of twister theory. And he gave me room to make things happen in the Star Trek universe that had never happened before. Like that hologram paper becoming real, or hologram Moriarty seizing control of the real Enterprise. Little did I know this was all a test. Gene was hiding his alien knowledge while I showed off mine. Gene was keeping his alien secrets to himself while allowing all of us to imagine what real reality could be. But now I've seen Gene Roddenberry's file from the government's Operation Secret Bedfellows, and it makes sense of everything he wrote and why he wanted his ashes shot back into space, as well as everything I personally observed of him during our lunches and dinners and private chats, particularly the way he'd lick his lips at the sight of Shih Tzu's.